Hello everyone, welcome to our Thursday Night Rock and Pour collaboration. We have two wonderful guest artists tonight, Donna and Shelly. Donna started us and Shelly's going to finish our collaboration tonight and we appreciate the ladies for being here with us. So tonight I'm going to do a ribbon pour and I'm doing the ribbon pour because number one, I've never done one and number two, Donna told me it is National Lollipop Day. So I'm going to jump right in and bring you guys down on the canvas and let's get started. Thanks for being here. Hello everyone, it's Angela Bliss with Angie's Art Asylum. Hope you guys are doing well and it is National Lollipop Day. So I am going to do my first ever ring ribbon pour. I've been watching Chris Jesnick. And I was out of glue all, so I kind of made my own pouring medium for this recipe. And I'm hoping it's not too thick. And I will share that recipe with you guys in the description box if it works. And I chose Paints Gray, Pearl Marmalade, Violet, all by Arteza. I have Amsterdam Titanium White. I have an Artist Loft Deep Magenta. And I have Arteza Bordeaux Red that we're going to use. I'm going to layer this cup and hopefully we'll have enough paint. But I wanted to try this first to see if it worked. So here we go. This is the Payne's Gray. Oh, a little static. But you love it when that happens. And I'm going to put a little bit of the white down. They're pretty thick. Next, I'm going to do the deep magenta, the violet. I just love this purple. It's so pretty. I figured I'd need like a little less than five ounces of paint for this canvas. Paint's really thick. So when I added the paint to the pouring medium, I think I'm okay. Yeah, who knew it was National Lollipop Day? I didn't know until Donna told me. Um, hope you guys watched her video. We were so glad that her and Shelly have joined us. And uh, of course, uh, Lori and Louise are scrunched in between me and Donna this week so make sure that you've seen everyone's videos if you haven't already go back and subscribe like and comment because they would love to hear from you I'm gonna leave a little bit of this out because I have to do ribbons All right. it's a pretty cup I don't know if I have enough white in there but we'll see I love the Bordeaux red, it's so pretty. Okay. All right guys, so this is a 10 by 10 canvas. And I'm just going to do it. I started with a strike pour there, so I'm going to look into a ring pour. Maybe too thick. I am going to add just a little bit of red to this cup and the purple, the violet, magenta, and do some kind of bold lines, I think. I hear the sound of empty streets. Yesterday has gone to sleep. So all that's left is you. Now these will, as they stretch out, they'll get bigger. See, I shouldn't have mixed that together. But add it again. I had too much paint spray down there, but I really like that red. So I'm gonna put that right there. Like I said, guys, I've never done this before. And I don't know if this pouring medium is going to work, so we will find out. If I go fast, it'll be skinny. Okay, and I can add more later. I'm not going to mess it up too bad. All right, let's uh, tilt it away. We're gonna add more ribbons afterwards, I think, too. So, um. life is a winding road, no 
telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let's figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my that's what aprons are for, guys. You can say I my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. It is thick. Jumping from cliffs so high. Trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Okay Love that red Alright, one more corner Let's see if it'll go Can y'all see that? Get it all the way over, guys. Maybe. Maybe it'll go. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head. Shake it a little bit. Maybe it'll go. Let's try it. a little more paint. Oh, kill that baby. Even if the sky is falling down, even if the sky is falling down. Oh, like that maybe? Uh, let's see. Guys, I have barely enough. It's very fun though. Lots of fun. Um, oh, there's a little bit. So the ribbons are a little transparent. Those that we put in there already. Sorry, I'm all over the place, guys, because I've never done this before. So I'm just kind of learning as I go. Um, maybe the pouring medium that I used, but I have some really cool cells popping up. going to make some more ribbons. <sighs> Let's see, what do we want? We want uh, some white, some white and red, some that marmalade maybe, a little bit of that blue, just a touch. Let's try this. So, create some more Pretty cool, pretty fun, as long as I can, uh, yeah, we can, okay, let's do this side right here. Kind of break that up a little bit. And, so here. Okay, let's
Reminds me of like graffiti, graffiti under here, and then lollipops on top. Um, I think it's got some good balance. I like the colors. We'll see how it dries and see if this works. So, thank you guys for watching my very first ribbon pour. I think it was kind of like a straight ring ribbon pour, I guess. Um, I love these fingerlings in here. I wish I'd have used a little more paint so that I could kind of move it around a little more, but I think that would have maybe messed up the whole bigger ribbons in there. But absolutely love this technique. Um, we will see how it dries, and then uh, if this works, there is a kind of a new mix. Uh, the one that I used as to uh, how it works so uh, we won't know until this dries and we look at it so thank you guys for being here please stay tuned for Shelly Anderson art she will be up next and thank you to Donna for joining us this week and of course Louise and Lori um, you always bring us fabulous art so we're going to see the what results here in just a sec okay everyone here is the wet result i love this it is so pretty i love bordeaux red it's one of my favorite reds i'm gonna come down i'm gonna try to keep the lights up but i like it this composition i like it another way too um The Pearl Marmalade gave it some little sparklies, you can see that. And then I have some little cells that popped up, and I think they popped up because of the, maybe the white and the Pearl Marmalade being together. Um, the paint's gray and the ribbon there added was definitely worth it because there's Payne's Gray in here where we stretched it out and then it just added to it here and brought some of that color in and the little cells and then all the little glitters from the Pearl Marmalade Super pretty ribbons. Got a red and white and pearl marmalade one there. And then it adds the blue to it there with the white. Sorry. And I think this one has like almost all the colors. Oh, all the colors that I used in it, which is really cool. I love it. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'll get a better pick to put at the end. Uh, so thanks for joining me.